Hello everyone. Today we are going to look at how to create a glass shader in Maya. Okay, so we are going to create a glass that looks like this. So we'll go to File, New Scene. All right, and we are going to start with the cylinder. Okay, so we'll right click and go to Edge, and we'll select the top edge. Control D select to select everything else and we are going to actually let me select everything okay so let me do it again if I went too fast so we create a cylinder right click we go to edge select all the edges and control deselect these so only the top and bottom are selected and I'm going to alt uh, control deselect these so only the top edge and bottom edge is going to be selected okay so this is going to be your first step then we'll go to mesh uh, edit mesh and bevel all right so in the bevel we are going to use point one and segments we can increase it to say three so that gets rid of the sharp edges this can be 0 0.05 okay so that's the first step uh, we are done with that now we will again select we go to face Select the top faces, control select these. And we need to control D select the pebbles as well. Okay, so we just want to select the ones which are here. So I'm going to select this, control uh, shift and select all of these. I'm going to do one at a time. Okay. And then we are going to scale and then we'll say shift and scale. So we scale it inside and we move it slightly down. Let's clear a bit more or we can simply move it down. Okay. Then we can go to edge, double click this edge and move it down. So we need like a softer top part. Okay. And then we need the same bevel. Point zero five there and segments three. Okay, that creates the glass. If you go to shading, wireframe, you can see how thick the base is. But I think that looks good. So that's our glass. And then we'll go to object mode, shading smooth. And then we're going to go to mesh, smooth. And then I'll just say one for the iterations. So that's how we create a glass. Now the glass has to be in the front view. Top here. Okay. And we'll create a cube. And I will simply scale it big in X and Y and 
skeletons are exactly at point. So that's our base on which the glass will sit. Okay. So that's your model done. So now we'll assign a material to this. I'll right, uh, right click assign new material and we will use uh, Lambert. Okay, and then use some texture to it. Uh, any image file that you like. I'm just simply going to use a concrete image that I downloaded from the internet. Okay, if you hit the six key, you can see that in action. Select this one and right click and assign new material. And here you type AI. We'll use AI standard surface for the glass. All right, so we will name this glass. And once uh, we will go to edit, delete by type history. So we get rid of all the steps we use to create the glass and on the glass shader what we're going to do is weight comes zero okay and transmission becomes one that's how you make the glass uh, now we'll go to arnold arnold render view Okay, so this will show us the rendering and if you click on start, we'll start it. So you can see that there is nothing right now. So we'll go to Arnold, Lights and we'll add a Sky Dome Light. And as soon as we add a Sky Dome Light, things become a little slow. But you can see the glass material happening. Now it's white in color, so we can add an HDRI image. Okay, so you go to hdriheaven.com and look for an image which has nice shadows. If you want shadows, if you don't want shadows, you can use a diffuse image, it doesn't matter which one. So if you go to HDRI Heaven and click on HDRI, let me go here and then we'll stop this. So things are a little faster. Okay, so try to use an outdoor scene because we are in the outdoor environment. I use this because I like the shadows. Uh, you can see in this image the shadows. This is a diffuse image. There are no shadows. Uh, this is again a diffuse but indoor. But these have good shadows. This doesn't have a shadow. So select an image that you like. It doesn't matter which one. I selected this one. All right. So if you click on the image. Then there are different sizes and I'm using the 2K because we are just doing the tutorial. You can download high res if you want good quality output. So you click on the color of the sky dome. File and same way we are going to assign the gaming. It's called the gaming HDRI. As soon as I open it, it will show up here. Uh, we'll have to start it. Okay, if you rotate the image, and, uh, here the shadow will rotate. Okay. And you can see our glass is looking pretty good now. We can move the camera down a little. And certain changes to the material uh, will reflect in the glass. Things are slow because of this surrender I'll stop it for a second and I want to select this glass okay then I'll start it again then in the glass modifier uh, let us try to change the transmission weight 
and you can see that it, once you make it less weight or full weight uh, the other thing we need to do is we go to p cylinder shape we go to arnold and we deselect opaque okay that is important so now it will be a transparent shader glass And see if the weight is less how the color changes if you change the color and if you increase the IOR index of refraction the glass looks more glassy on the right and if it is below 1.5 it starts disappearing the refraction doesn't happen and the glass becomes invisible so at 1.5 it starts looking glass and then a little bit more will make it a little bit more pronounced so it's up to you what number you want to use to make the glass look good okay you can get rid of the roughness if you don't like and it will be more crystal clear glass okay let us bring back the op opaqueness if you make it opaque it looks like this and if it's transparent it looks like this okay, so you can decide what look you are going for then you can see it looks very nice glass and things will change based on the angle you are going to use for your rendering but basic understanding is that you don't have any weight and you have one as transparency so as as soon as you reduce the transparency you get the weight option visible here and if you increase weight it loses its glass quality okay so you can make it a red glass if you want Add some reddish tinge to it or a greenish one. Okay, so that's about it. That's how a glass is done in Maya. Okay, looks very nice. Thank you very much, and keep tuned to more tutorials. Bye bye.